Hi guys. What's up? What's up, bitches? Ow. <laughs> oh, nice to see you there, coin box. Hi. Watching some Dracula whipping. Yeah, this is uh, stage two, which is pretty much the remake of the original Castlevania's uh, first area. Well, first we gotta storm the castle first. We gotta get in. Storm the castle, boys. Oh, well, of course. Storm the castle at blazing speed here. Well, I'm trying to, as you can see. I just got this axe armor in my way. He won't let me through. Quick, be quiet for the cutscene. Okay, resume talking. And here we are in the main entrance hallway that you see in just about every Castlevania game. Is the the piece of meat in the wall, or...? Um... Somewhere. Somewhere. But you just gotta look closely. You see it? Oh. <laughs> yes, I see it. <laughs> right over there. You want me to highlight it in the video for you? <laughs> I can see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe for the blind viewers. But yeah, as you can see in this hallway, we got the usual suspects, like zombies. And, and those assholes. Oh yeah. They just look like they just want to come up and hug you. That's all I can see from that. Are the zombies? Yeah. Just look at them. Oh, I just want to give you a big hug. <laughs> and then tear your head off. Speaking of tearing things down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is the behemoth, right? Yep, that's the behemoth. And he's no big problem. You just run away from him. Also, remember to grab the key. The key is important. This is the most exciting chase scene ever. I know. Like, Richter's just briskly walking, and then the behemoth just pauses in place. He's so kind. He's like, oh, he's going to the door. Well, whatever. I'm going to kill you at mo one mile an hour. <laughs> Pretty much. And then he pops his own I head know. off. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> don't. How don't. do you do that? I don't. Well, if you looked, he was pressing his head up against it, and then it kind of just. He snapped. ran his own head off. I can't explain it. He just did it. Such power this girl holds. Such purity. A fine gift she'll be for the master. You son of a... What are you doing to her? <sighs> that whip. Belmont. How can you be here? Blast it. Very well. Wait! Are you awake? Mister? Who are you? I'm Richter Belmont. Don't worry, that man is gone. I paid him back for hurting you. My name's Maria. Maria Renard. Are you the man Annette was talking about? You know about Annette? Where is she? We were together when they brought us here, but now... I see. Don't worry. I'll help you! With what? Well, we have to beat the bad man! Ha! No, no. Just be good. Go home back to your mom and dad. They're worried about you. No, they know I'm safe with you. <gasps> they can see it from heaven. They were killed. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm definitely coming with you! No, that's out of the question. It's much too dangerous. Hey! I said it and I mean Whoa! it! What was that just now? Huh? Such power this girl holds, so this is what he meant. Um, okay. So, now I get to come with you. You just won't take no for an answer, will you? Alright, fine. Come with me. But promise me, you'll run if things get too dangerous. Alright, I promise. 
Hooray! Character unlocked. Now we get to play as a 12-year-old girl. How effective so is the 12-year-old So it's like now? every other Japanese game? Kind of. But to answer your question, Shogun, um, she's incredibly broken. Oh. So Anything like that Richter can do, she can girl. do 20 times better. Just Maybe like every 50? anime girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, she could probably do anything like 50 times better. Um, she actually has an exclusive attack that involves pretty much summoning something that beats up something. I'll, I'll probably show it off later. Yeah. Hello. This is oh. what? This this is werewolf. What's the problem, Coin Box? Everything about this character. No. Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is werewolf. He's a master of kung fu. Kung fu werewolf. I don't know. Have you seen what he does? Are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Are you sure this is not a He's... 80s movie now? Because it might be werewolf be. sounds like it would be one. Uh, Shogun, make sure you watch out for the power geyser now. I will. You never do. Oh, this is me. I didn't get close enough to him, but if I did, it would look like I was punching him in the face. <laughs> I... I don't know. But yeah, that was only one path, but let me show you what happens... What happens when you take alternate Hope paths? Hope like a pro. Yeah. We shit multiple endings. Yeah, pretty much. But watch what happens when uh, you fail to jump over okay. incredibly easy to jump holes. I will. See, look, that's simple right there. Yes, but simple. Then, but then it can get a little bit tricky because you see that and you're like, "Hey, let's go down." And hey, oh. look, new area. You're in the sewers. Yep, uh, no way connected to the other sewers that you saw. That's also in every Castlevania game. Oh, these are the other sewers. Yep, these are the other sewers that look like they would collide with the sewers that we just went through, but not really. No, oh, don't be silly. And this is me having trouble trying to get through this because I got this peeping eye circling around me and I got mermen flying around. And I'm just... I don't want to take it. <laughs> I mean, and I could have used the key, I could have done an item crash, and just used invincibility frames and then jumped through, but who wants to see that? And because you're a Belmont, you're made of sodium, so water will kill you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and this is the second pre-boss area. As you notice, it's quite different than the previous one. Seems, well, the meat's still in the wall. Well, the meat's always in the wall. Yeah. We were just waiting for it to show up. I like how Dracula just puts his meat in his walls. That Got seems like it would turn safe. off um, awkward very well, quickly. Let me put that, let me put that better. Uh, I like how Dracula hides meat. Meat walls. storage. Yeah, it's the meat walls. Now, this is the Bone Golem, right? Yep, that's the Bone Golem. I got lucky with that cross throw. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure the cross is probably a bad weapon to use for this, only because, well, I'm pretty bad with it. <laughs> I'm more of a holy water guy. From what I understand, holy water is incredibly broken or powerful? Um, it depends, really. A lot of people say oh. it's broken in the earlier... Oh yeah, this boss transforms, by the way. But a lot of people say that Holy Water is broken in the like first couple of games because it stays in place and it stun locks enemies. In this one, it travels along. I actually kind of like the traveling along better. Uh. Only because I can hit multiple things if they're in a line or something like that. Or if something backs up. But yeah, I don't like this boss, specifically this one, because he flies around like an idiot. Seems... Does it have a lot of health, or just... It does have a lot of health, but it also has three forms. And this is the final form, the Bone Train. 
<laughs> bone train. Chugga chugga. Hold aboard the bone train. Yeah, pretty much. You can just jump on it. You won't take damage. But if you jump into it, like I just did, <laughs> you will. Also, the crosses seem they seem to be effective against the bone train. Yeah, against the bone train, but trying to hit the second form is kind of painful for me. Uh. Hooray! Also, I'm trying to be as stylish as possible with each orb grabbing. So that was level 2. <laughs>